guys, it's Ray, and today I'm wearing makeup. There is makeup on my face. I got a full face of makeup. Holy shit. Wow, look at me and my makeup skills that are fairly mediocre and not even that great. And I'm not going to apologize for my extremely dramatic eyebrows because I fucking like them. And if you don't like them, you can suck my dick. <laughs> I don't actually have like an eyebrow pencil or like anything to fill them in with. So, and the only eyeshadow shade that I have remotely close to my eyebrow color is not that color at all and it's it's a lot I really like this eyebrow though this is my favorite out of my two eyebrows they're definitely sisters and not twins but I like this one the best this one is eh, yeah this used to be my favorite eyebrow but now this one is my favorite I like the shape of it a lot better even though they're like really similar in shape. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I don't know what this video is going to be about because I just started it because I want to film something, but I have no idea what to talk about. Like it's it's I do stuff with my life. I just feel like it's not overly interesting and it's not like I do all these crazy things. Wow, it's more like I am a regular person with a regular boring life. Hi. <laughs> Welcome to my boring ass life <laughs> you're here are you happy probably not it's probably really fucking boring and i'm sorry <laughs> anyway i don't know i guess uh i i, I put on makeup today because it felt like it. i don't know i feel like when i'm in a shitty mood and then i just get to like play with shit on my face like this like i did today and I have fun with it. Makeup doesn't even take that long, but I spent like a solid three hours trying to figure out what the fuck I was doing with my eyes, and I feel like eyes is the hardest part, because your face, you have like a set amount of steps to do, and you just do those steps, and they're like pretty much the same every time. I mean, you can like do them with like different things, but other than that, it's like the basic same thing that you're doing to your face. It's like the same motions. You're probably using same or similar brushes, same or similar products to achieve the similar look or like the look that you want. I don't know. It's it's not much different. But when you get to eyes, there's so much room for experimentation. It's like too much for me because I'm so indecisive. It's like, what the fuck am I doing? I was like, am I going to do a smoky eye? I can do like a half cut crease. I can do a cut crease. I can do so many things. And I decided on this. I don't know what this is, but it's here. And I like it. I think it looks cool. I like this too. I'm experimenting with this. I've never done that before. That little, little pointy thing in the inner corner. I think that looks pretty cute. I look like a cat. I like it. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I feel like lately I've been experimenting too with like more makeup stuff. And it's really fun because I just get to put stuff on my face and make my face look like a different face that is similar to my original face. But usually I don't wear makeup because I have very sensitive, picky skin and it's, it just doesn't, I don't know, it doesn't like things being on it. And also, um, because I mentioned in my last video, um, I struggle with dissociation, um, all like forms of that derealization, depersonalization, like on a pretty much daily basis, literally daily basis. Um, and sometimes putting on makeup can, and because I don't wear it that often and I don't wear it in public, it's not like a thing that I wear for long periods of time. It's just like I'll like play with it with my face and just put stuff on my face occasionally, and as like a fun little hobby thing that I do, not to just like wear casually. It's usually like a, this is a project that I'm gonna spend like four hours on and then just wash it off my face later, so I don't know. Um, but sometimes that can really like fuck with me and my brain because I'll be like, who the fuck is that? They look similar to me, but it's not me. Who, who are you? I need to wash my face or I'm gonna have a panic attack. Like, you know? <laughs> Speaking of panic attacks, I had one of those today, technically yesterday, because it's currently almost 4 a.m. Oh my god. <laughs> so much for going to bed at a reasonable time. <laughs> Oof. Um, basically, I was gonna go hang out with a friend, and then we were waiting for our food. I started having a panic attack, and I haven't had a panic attack like this in a very long time. Um... Basically, uh, 
last year, as in like 2017, um, I had some issues with, this is going to get really dark really fast, but I had some issues with drugs and mostly it, you know, just involves like weed and cigarettes. So it's not like, it's not like really dark or dramatic, but, um, THC does not do good things to my brain. Uh, because of my anxiety. Some people with anxiety, it helps them, like, so much. And that's cool. But me, it does not help me. It has never helped me. It has never felt good. It has never done good things. It just makes me feel like absolute fucking horseshit. <laughs> so, on Friday, I went grocery shopping. And because I do not have a car, my mom doesn't have a car, no one has a car, we just walk and we carry our groceries home. Um, and weed is legal in Canada now, so if you are walking around after hours when it's dark outside, it is everywhere. It is like a thick fog and you cannot get away from it. And if you are someone like me who has that smell and that substance is associated with very negative things and the substance itself does not make you feel good or does not do good things to you, you're not going to want to be around it. Um, and my typical response to even just smelling it is to start having a panic attack. <laughs> Hello, I'm back again with a sweater because I'm cold and, and I know it's ill-advised to wear stripes on camera because that doesn't... This is the closest sweater that was near to me and I was- I'm very cold. It is cold in here. It is cold for some reason. Cause it's like, end of July, going into August. In August it starts to get cold and then in October it gets like warm again, which is super super weird because it's like cold from like August into September and then towards the end of September and October it just gets really- Anyway, this is- there's nothing to do with whatever. Anyway. <laughs> Why am I so amused by that? Anyway, I literally had to write down my train of thought so that I wouldn't forget it. Anyway, we were talking about uh, panic attacks, so let's just continue from that. Uh, basically, my panic attack response, the first thing I start to do is hyperventilate. And when you don't want to breathe something in, the worst thing to do is to start hyperventilating because then you're just breathing really fast and probably getting more of it in than you want, you, you know? Um... And basically, as we've established, THC is not a good thing for my brain to just have in it. So, it's a very unpleasant feeling. It's not, it's not how I want, would like to feel generally on a, on a general basis. Just not my, you know, not my cup of tea, even though I, I don't drink tea or coffee. I don't even drink any caffeinated beverages. Water is my beverage of choice. Stay hydrated, kids. Okay. <laughs> Uh, so, I had a panic attack, basically, the entire way home, um, and I thought I was okay, because I didn't think that, um, it was, like, I'd actually inhaled anything, I didn't think it was actually, like, bad, um, and then, so... Fast forward to yesterday, where we were before, um, I was okay for, like, the most part of the day, like, I was fine, and then, um, my friend was like, hey, do you want to get food? And I was like, hell yeah, of course I want to get food, do you, do you know me? Does that even have to be a question? No, it doesn't. You know I want food. You can just tell me that we're gonna get food, and I'll be like, sure. <laughs> Let's go get food. Um, <laughs> but, like, I thought I would be fine. And I was, basically, until we got into the restaurant and sat down. And then I started to feel, like, this weird sort of discomfort, like, headachey feeling. Um, basically, what it feels like is, like, dizziness, but it also feels like someone is pushing, like, on the back of your head, basically, that is, 
to me, that basically means um, when I have headaches in the back of my head, whether that's like a tension headache where it feels like someone is stabbing something through the back of my head or it just feels like someone's pushing on the back of my head. Basically, that means you're stressed the fuck out. You need to calm down. Um, and I couldn't really figure out why because it was a little bit busier than usual because, of course, it was like sort of a dinner rush-ish um, in the summertime. So there's quite a lot of people there. Um, and then I started to feel like dizzy and nauseous and sort of like spacey. And I was like, I have not had a panic attack like this in a very long time. And it was the type of panic attacks that I used to have when I would, uh, when I used to get high. And I was like, why? Because I've been, like, completely sober for over a year now. Um, so it was weird to me to just suddenly have a panic attack like the ones I used to get when I was high. And I thought I was gonna be okay. But it started to feel like I was so sick and so spaced out and, like, dizzy. And I was like, shit. Like, I'm gonna have to leave. And I really, it it was really sad for me because I was like, I want to hang out with my friend. And I want to get food. And just want this to be a normal day. And my brain is just not fucking having it. <laughs> it, it I don't know. I, I thought it was really sad. But unlike a lot of friends that I've had... When I have panic attacks, it was really cool because I'm my best friend. <laughs> um, I don't know. I feel like a lot of experiences I've had with friends uh, dealing with my panic attacks, they're usually either no compassion at all, just they don't give a fuck. They're just like, oh, yeah, you'll be fine. Don't worry about it. And it's like... D don't... What? What? Don't- yeah, don't worry- Excuse me! <laughs> don't worry about it. Okay. <laughs> sure, I just won't worry about it, except for the fact that I- I'm having a serious mental breakdown right now. But yeah, just- uh, just don't- don't worry about it. It's fine. You'll- you'll be fine. It's, it's okay. Or they just have no idea what the fuck to do, and that's totally okay. But like- don't be a dick about it, you know what I mean? I remember one time I fell out of a tree. <laughs> I had a panic attack. Because, of course, I fell out of a tree. So, I thought I was dying. And this one friend literally just stood there and stared at me. And I was like, bitch, <laughs> I just fell out of a tree. You're never gonna ask me if I'm okay, help me up, nothing. I just fell out of a tree and you're just gonna be like, like, <laughs> What? <laughs> anyway, but yeah, it was really cool to have a friend who is, like, really supportive and, like, caring when I'm, like, freaking the fuck out, which is super, super cool. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, that, that was, that was today. I kind of like this sweater. I've never actually worn it before. It's kind of nice. Even though it's, it's stripy. I like stripy things, okay? Fight me. It also has a pocket. It's a really nice pocket. I just don't know how I feel about this neck. I feel about that neck. <laughs> I also want to get. Is it gonna stop recording soon? It stopped recording after seven minutes last time. I'm scared. Should I just end it now? Maybe I should. This is gonna be a long video. Probably. How many things did I talk about? I don't know. I just want to talk a lot. I. Anyways, I'm gonna end this video here. Um. I hope you enjoyed it. Whatever it's worth. I might actually film another video today. So if you see another video where I look like this, you'll know why. <laughs> because I film them on the same night. Because every time I film something, I just get in the mood to, like, film something else. Because, like, when I start, like, the camera, I get, like, really nervous because I'm like, oh god. <laughs> it's like talking to people. Except, like, always talking to someone that you've never met before, even though there's no one here and I shouldn't be scared, but I'm still, like, nervous, like, oh my god, what do I say? <laughs> Help. Uh, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. You can like the video because I would really appreciate that, and that would be really sweet of you. Thank you. You decide to like it. I appreciate it a lot. What I would appreciate more than that is if you would subscribe because I would like to have some friends because 
friends are cool. Cool. <laughs> um, and yeah, there is there is a very small fruit fly that just oh my gosh <laughs> tried to fly into my face. <laughs> Please go away, go away, stop that. Um, I'm gonna go now. <laughs> stop swatting at tiny fruit flies that you can't even see, and I probably just look fucking insane. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go. Okay, bye. But you get what I mean. It's not it's not a comfortable pro uh.